and you'll see why. Oh god! Uh, cockatrice. Yep, this is another, this is like Catobilus. He can stone you, and it's not pretty looking. In fact, it's quite repulsive. It's a giant chicken with a dragon tail, for god's sakes. I think that'd be awesome, but Castlevania might manage to make it look repulsive. And now we got more enemies, the Dead Warrior. That's a new, that's a reoccurring enemy in Castlevania, but again, they don't reuse Symphony of the Night sprites in this game, which I applaud. Them. And we got the Red Crow yellow ability, which we're not gonna really use because eh, I'm not really an int person. I'm more of a strength. And now we save. Thank God for there being a convenient save point. We're gonna have to kill that Dead Warrior again, though. Actually, there's two of them. I think. Or just one. Oh, you're dead. And you're dead, stupid red crow. Stay away from me. Oh, that thing can go all the way up. And look, another one of you sucking fat asses, but we kill you with our chain. And because it's so useful. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, you missed me, you red crow, you bastard. Little bugger. But now we're good. Now, um, this part we really don't get anywhere. I just kind of explore the floating garden at least. Get a lay of the land. And you'll see. See those big floating boxes up there on the map as you saw before? Um, that's part of the floating garden, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to go through a bunch of those. And I think there's like a pattern of what you teleport in them. But I do get a little lost here. So I will end the video on kind of a lost note, but I did look up what I, I did refresh myself on what I had to do. So next time I play this after I record Robot Wars, I'll be prepared. And I won't be getting hit by fucking imps. I can't promise that actually because they're annoying. But yeah, now we get the imp familiar, which kind of generally just isn't that good, so I'm not going to equip it. And now there's another cockatrice that we need to dispose of. With a combination of attacks and chains. Discs. Chain disc. That's what it should be. We go back up here because that's just the back area. And as you see, I forgot to mention, that thing is another recoloring of the Cato Beavis. And we're just going to avoid it because it's... Actually, we're just going to... As you saw, we used the Zed pedestal kind of clever that this game, I like how this game likes, you know, does some platforming puzzles that are kind of very simple, but I mean, you know, makes platforming fun and enjoyable, it makes you, if you're a dumb person, think outside the box, and I think this is the room where I get the shit scared out of me, all, all these box, big floating box rooms here looks the same, so, kind of ish, but this one I think in particular scares the shit out of me. Uh, 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 it's the devil! And I am Jesus, because I can walk on water, so I must kill it. Uh, yes, I am Jesus, and I have conquered the devil. See that? Yeah! Yeah! And I look in my enemy data area to try to find it so I can see how much health that thing has. But, mostly out of fear, but I don't know. I didn't find it. And I didn't have enough time, and I didn't want to waste time looking in it. So yeah, now I'm just going to pretty much fill up this box. That's what I do with pretty much every box. I try to fill it up. Going up. And each box has to have this little tiny hallway. For some reason, this area reminds me of this uh, one area in Symphony of the Night. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking because it has a similar color palette. And I can't remember the name. And it's on the tip of my tongue. I think it might be the Royal Chapel or something like that, but I don't know. I mean, if you haven't played Castlevania Symphony of the Night before, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but either way, you get Dead Warrior. And that's actually kind of a useful ability, so I think I equip it. I think? No? I guess not. Oh, look at those. I'm surprised they're still re like reusing bone pillars. I mean, I think yeah, and bone pillars can be used for platforming purposes as well. You just gotta make sure that you don't kill too many of them to get a good boost. Kill this 
bone pillar, but there's no damage to us. Pussy. Bone pillars are pussies. They're not strong anymore. We're Jesus. Jesus, Soma, can't be beaten by a mere bone pillar. Ha! Blasphemy. Madness! Haha, <laughs> overuse me. Oh wow, the display just rips through. And we get a thousand gold? That's always good. Always good to get them golds. All the golds in the world. Well, mostly I'll be using it on potions and whatnot. But if there is happen to be a, if there does happen to be a good weapon, then you know, maybe. I'm just generally saying that. What the fuck? Oh my god! Mandragora! That... I don't know what the fuck that thing was. I think that was like a... That was just a skeleton who pulled a Mandragora out of the fucking floor. Oh. That scared the shit out of me when I played this game. And now we go fight Rippers. These are, um... Rippers and uh, their little birdie friend. Uh, oh, I'm gonna kill one eventually, so the name should appear. Um, kill one or go through there. I'm gonna try to go back and see what I mean. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like the room placement's so random. Like, if you go to a wrong room, you'll start back on square one. It's like one of those Lost Woods things, if you know what I'm talking about, from like Zelda. Yeah, so, um, more disc armor because they suck! They suck, dude! Fuck you! Yeah. Oh, yeah, disc armor. So, it becomes so much easier when you can use their ability against them. And look, a random money bag that gives us 500. Wow. I'll tell you one thing, I don't like this area at all, but it does give you a good amount of loot. Every area gives you loot, so you know what? That's always good. Hey look at hey look, the second boss. Recycling. Always fun. Always just, you know, to keep space. Like to fill space. But either way, the Manticore I guess is a cool enemy to fight, so I'm not gonna complain. Kinda weak at this point because it's the second boss. Probably can't do that much against us. We're up here now. See, just completely random. I gotta figure out this. Oh look, it's a bigger version of the wood golem, except he's stone, and he does a sure you can at me. Ah, you don't like me, my sh no sure you can, no bad golem. But yes, we find another bag of money. Because bags of money are just lying around everywhere in Dracula's castle. How does he even pay for his, his like, groceries and stuff? Werewolf. Now that kind of looks like it was taken from Symphony. But, if anything, I think the quality is lowered. Yeah, kill the werewolf. Oh, this is, uh, whoa! Flame fist. Wow, that really only did, like, one damage. I'm sure if I was caught in, like, the middle of that, it probably would have done more. Maybe that was just splash damage, but either way... Kill a red crow, and we're back at the beginning area, I believe. I don't know. And we get annoyed by another imp, because they suck dick. Really, they do. They suck. Oh my god, and they just never stop spawning in this room. I don't know if that's a re- I forget if that's a reoccurring thing, but... Oh my god. I really just hate the floating garden. I just hate it. I just despise it. Well, words cannot describe my hatred for this area at this point. But, um... Yeah, we will be ending this video soon, as soon as we get to the save room, and as soon as we kill this dead woman. This is where the re all the recorded footage ends, folks. I will be recording more after I record more Super Robot Wars, so... Yeah, look forward to more parts of that. So, um, yeah, this is Asia Storm God, and I'll um, catch you guys later.